right, and welcome back. So, where we left off last episode, I started grinding, and this is the result of what we have so far. So, Rope is currently at level 35, Lemon grew to level 33, we got Grilled to level 30, Mona we actually got to level 27, and then we have Milo and Ralst here as just fodder. So, uh, we are going to go take on Norman here. Um, there is some more trainers we can fight in the trick house, but I think I'm going to leave those until after Norman. Uh, but we're just going to head straight on through here. But yeah, so, sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little out of it. Uh, as some of you guys know, I am currently in the process of moving me and my wife, uh, are moving out of the current state that we're in, uh, despair, and moving to a new state, hope. So, uh, we are, everything's getting packed up right now, and I'm pretty tired, um, uh, with, uh, everything going on. So a lot of these episodes are actually being recorded back to back as best as I can, and uh, same thing with draft mode and other stuff as well. So yeah, so it's it's it's, it's a big uh big uh you know life changing event, and we're pretty excited about it, but it is rather tiring right now. I know all of last week of when I'm recording this, I uh, I think I drove uh, every single day with the exception of like two. Two different states, so it's been uh, it's been a little bit of a trip, but it's all uh, right now. At least it's over, and I've got a little bit of a break before we uh, complete the move. At least, so that'll be nice. And uh, you know, maybe in season three, you guys will see season three of draft mode. Rather, you'll see the background of my new place because season two is almost all recorded at the old place. So that'll probably be the last, the last thing um, to be recorded there. Regardless, we are now moving on and we are gonna go fight Norman. Norman is going to be a little bit difficult. So he's got a Spinda, he's got a Vigorath, he's got a Lanoon, and he's got a Slacking in that order. So we essentially have two strategies here, buff us and uh, nerf his slacking the other ones I'm not too concerned about at the end of the day his slacking does have counter so that is a that is a concern at least let me go ahead and make sure that uh, I've got the right setup so rope here is going to Try to stun spore the stun spore whomever honestly comes out onto the field, and then I'm gonna try to set up with rope against the Spinda. I think that's the best candidate for setting up against, um, just because the Loon can uh, belly drum and then becomes a real threat, and we don't want that. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue on forward to the end send out rope and then we're gonna see what happens honestly I think that that's just gonna be have to be what happens so I get to fight uh, mr. widow peak over here looks like me in real life but you know so here comes the spinda out here there goes rope first move stun spore So hopefully, uh, just, you know, constant paralyze hacks. Yes! Excellent. That's always good to see. That's what I like to see. Uh, and then what we're going to go ahead and do is... We're actually going to go ahead and raise X special. Now, I'm only going to raise X special once because that is for uh, Mega Drain. Oh, what, I'm actually, what I need is I need to raise X attack as much as I can. Wow. Okay. So that was a crit. Oh yeah, because the damage is doubled. Uh, sh well, anyway. Let's 
Let's see who Super Potion can heal here. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, good, it's paralyzed. Thank God. Alright. Uh, Mega Drain. Oh, no, Ghost. Oh, no. I wanted a Mega Drain there. Oh, it's already going terrible. Oh, I got a crit, too. Oh, it's paralyzed. Oh. Mega Drain. Okay, so Hyper Potion coming out here. Hopefully this does about half. And I'm... Oh, no. Come on, get through that per um, confusion. Thank you. Now, as long as I don't get critted, I think I'm okay. But, it, knowing my luck, crit seems to be actually a pretty common occurrence. There you go, got out of the confusion there. That was uh, a bit of a nail-biter there for a couple seconds. But I think I'm okay. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm glad that, uh... I'm glad that I can survive it as long as it's not a crit. Okay, so, so Vigorath is going to come out here. Uh, I'm going to keep Rope out for now. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test the how much damage it does. So I'm just going to super, super Potion. Ooh, it has a high crit ratio. Okay, so even with a crit, it only does that much. Okay. So I just need to basically wait for it to not crit buff defense again. Okay. So if I buff here... I honestly might... Well, okay, so I think buffing again. <laughs> Just keep raising that defense. But a crit, a crit will blow through that. So, I'm too low now to really be comfortable. So, we're going to go ahead and Super Potion here. But I, and I think, um, what is this, at 2.5x? Because it's 1.5 to 2.5. Yeah, okay. I think at that point, then I'm good. Alright, so now I'm going to start uh, increasing my attack. The fact that he's using Faint Attack is awesome, because it's going to do zero damage. Okay, so now I'm at 2x attack here. I think getting to 3x is enough. Okay, I think one more and I'm still outside of slash crit range. We'll see. Okay, so I need one more x attack to be where I want to be. And I think just uh, Super Potion... So I think this will put me at 3x. See, and that's what I want to avoid. That's why I'm staying, like, I know that the faint attack and whatnot don't do a whole lot of damage, but I want to stay out of the crit range. I'm not going to bother using, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, po uh, a pair, uh, a stun spore. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. I'm not going to bother doing that because simply, um, why am I using Gust? I should just be using Silverwind. What's wrong with me? Uh, I'm not going to use that because it's going to double the, uh, facade damage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and heal. We're, we're going to play this safe. We're going to play this on the safe side, especially with the rope. I don't want to lose the rope. Too important. Um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to get the double damage from, uh, facade with, with, um, stab. It's going to, that would be a lot. So, yeah, we're going to Silverwind here, because I think Silverwind is physical in this generation. I'm struggling to remember all of the, you know, if is it physical, is it special, because um, the physical special split hasn't happened. So we got Lanoon coming out here. I'm hoping for a Belly Drum if it goes first. Yep, perfect. So then I should be able to take it out with, uh, with this. At this rate, I might actually be able to handle normal with just Rope. If that's the case, that's pretty awesome. Alright, so Slacken's gonna come out here. Slacken, um, you know. 
It, it has an insanely high attack stat, but it only attacks every other turn. But it can beat the crap out of you, uh, and it has counters. So I think I'm actually going to go for the... Um, I hit it there to see how much damage I do. I'm going to go for the X special route here. So I don't have to worry about anything there. Because it has basically it just has facade and counter. So I'm just going to load up with X specials because there's no, no other Pokemon that I would use it with anyway. Ooh. Yawn coming in here. Honestly, there's not much that I can do to that until it falls asleep. So I'm just last X special. Get it all the way up to 6X or, or 3X rather. Or whatever I'm sitting at here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, wake it up. Do I have a... I have an awakening, don't I? Chester Berry. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I'm pretty sure I have some way of dealing with that. Okay. Oh, here comes another yawn. So we're just gonna be doing yawn hacks for the freaking rest of the game. So hit him with the Mega Drain. Should get a lot of damage off here. A lot of heal. See, this is the power of X items, boys and girls. <laughs> it is uh, pretty busted. So I think if I hit him with one more... Um, one more Mega Drain, it should be fine. Okay, well, he just got critted, so... That is... That is terrible. Uh... Well, Rope did a really good job. So, we're going to see if Lemon can finish it off. Come on, Lemon. Um, uh, I want to get him lower before I use Overheat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and X Defend here. Rope did such a good... Like, Rope was a freaking trooper. Because uh, he kind of burned his Citrus Berry, so... So double double defense here, and Lemon is pretty tanky, so he should be able to take uh, take a hit and throw the last one on there just for good measure. And then we'll just kind of buffing his attack. So two X attack, just that it's. It's gonna have to be, uh, I, th I think I want to use strength here and then into overheat or something like that. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna heal here first. And then awakening. Yeah, we're gonna heal and then awakening for, uh, for the next, the next turn. Because he's loafing. Or, what, not awakening, a, a chesto berry. So, I knew I was going to have issues. I, I knew I shouldn't have gotten complacent with Rope just absolutely thrashing him. Uh, so we'll go for Overheat first here. Just because that's an insane base damage. See what we can... Okay, alright, well. Didn't even need the attack boosts. That's, uh, yeah. Alright, so that was enough. Well, Lemon, a good job avenging Rope there. It's terrible that we lost probably one of our earliest members, but... It is to be expected with, uh, with such a difficult difficult gym battle even though I kind of made it look a little trivial with how over leveled rope was but uh, you know rope gave it his all and I or her all rather and we didn't even need to use a mighty and a scum hacks with uh, switching out so that's unfortunate but you know that, that kind of stuff happens sometimes and uh, rope sacrifice was not in vain we were able to defeat Norman and uh, continue on with our journey so Anyway, aside from that, we are now going to be able to progress with the rest of the game. So we're going to unlock here uh, Surf, which allows us to go across bodies of water uh, and move on to the sixth gym, which uh, opens up a couple of other uh, interesting Pokemon as well. So I'm very, I'm very upset that Rope is gone, but I'm very happy that we finally have defeated Norman. So, to, 
to the fifth gym, we lost both our Gyarados and our Beautifly, who were the ones that defeated single- basically them alone defeated the, uh, the third gym, so. Anyway, uh, by the way, you guys can see that, uh, the egg hatched into why not here, but rest in peace, sweet prince, and, uh, Uh, I'm just gonna leave that slot open for whatever we're about to go get. So, I'm gonna go access... Oh, actually I'm gonna heal first. Uh, and then I'm gonna go... Do I have a Pokemon? I have a Pokemon that can use Surf, right? Because otherwise this is gonna be really awkward. Let's see. Not able. None of them. Okay. Well, uh. I don't think you can, and I don't think you can either. We can try. Uh, no. I don't. I'm pretty sure Lily could not learn surf. Um. So this is a little awkward. I need to find someone that can learn surf, and I don't know if I have any available um, catches. Oh, I do. Have, I I do have catches in cities and stuff. So I could uh, I could catch something here, but that's not going to be like the best. You know, the, it's going to give me like a goldine or whatever. Because uh, if I had the gold rod, I, I, I could get, uh, like, a corefish or something, I think, that would be an actually halfway decent surfer. Or not surfer. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess halfway decent surfer, so. Alright. Uh, yeah, just strength. One shot this shroomish. How dare you? How dare you appear in front of me? So, I do have a... I'm gonna go check. I can't remember what I have in the daycare. Uh... I put some. I put two Pokemon in the daycare while I uh, when I left. So I'm gonna go see uh, if either one of them can learn Surf. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'm put in kind of an awkward position. All right, lemon's coming out here. I might have to, like, I don't know, like, pick up Daedalus or whatever just until I get another Surfer. Just so I can progress. But, uh, if I can avoid doing that, I'm going to try to do that. Because I would rather, you know, be, like, be able to let them rest. Okay. I do, I, I just remembered, I also have Super Repels. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Use that. Oh crap. Alright. And up there. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see what we can get here from the daycare. And other than that, I think I'll, if I can't find anything, I'll probably end the episode there then. Alright. Okay, I know Eli can't, so we're gonna try Easter. Because Eli's a new mill. No. And I can't remember if, if uh, if, uh, uh, what's his name? Ball toy can learn surf. I guess not. Okay. So we're just gonna throw him back in there. Yep. And here is, uh, here's this guy. Yeah, raise him for me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Alright, so I think what we'll do... Let me go ahead and look at my Pokenav here. Um, I know that there's water... Like, I could, I could go back and pick up a Pokemon over in Petalburg, where I just was. I think that's what I'm gonna have to end up doing. 
so because I did not get a catch there yet because I did not have the old rod when I when I was doing the old rod stuff and the ability to go there so I'm gonna head there now and I'll probably end the episode there I'm gonna try to catch something uh, and then beginning of next episode uh, or actually I'll just catch something at the end of this episode rather and uh, I will get it if it's a magic carp then I will get it to the uh, the level that it needs to be in order to evolve it. So, because I was going to hold off to surf and do all that kind of nonsense, but, you know, it's just not, it's not feasible. And I'm also going to uh, super repel here. The super, I did, I did a lot of shopping between episodes, and that's where I got all those X, X items and everything like that. And I also picked up like 20 super repels because I'm just sick and tired of backtracking and running into all this kind of crap. So. Yeah, it kind of sucks that I uh, don't have a surfer, and this is the problem with never catching a freaking Zigzagoon. Because Zigzagoon can learn surf, among other HM moves. One of the best Pokemon in the game. You know, hands down is Zigzagoon, so. Alright. So, we're now in Petalburg City. This is our catch for Petalburg City. Hoping for not Magikarp. Because that would be awesome. Otherwise, uh, you know, it's what, whatever it is, is going to be uh, sur surfable. Eventually. I have to evolve Magikarp into Gyarados, which is why I'm not too thrilled about getting a Magikarp. Come on, I know there's something in this pond. No. No, I don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and register this because uh, it's being difficult. And then, then, you know, this is when it's going to catch. Of course, of course, of course this is when it catches. Of course it is. Oh, it's a Goldeen. Perfect. So I can actually teach the surf and uh, not have to worry too much about... Uh, going on. I'm not going to touch it at all. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball in. If the, re if the Great Ball doesn't catch, I'm going to use a Repeat Ball. Alright, come on. Alright. So, Water Sport coming in here. Uh, I don't care. Right. Repeat Ball, go. It's like the same thing as a Pokeball with, you know, as far as this is concerned. But at least it's out of my inventory now. Nope, I did not want to close back. I wanted to get the Great Ball game. Come on! Alright, catch it. Let's go. Oh my gosh! You kidding me? It's a Great Ball. Catch it! I have like 12 more tries before... Like, my entire game is over. Get defeated by the fact that a Goldeen doesn't want to catch. I don't think that you're going to be able to take out my my, uh, my camera up here, Goldeen. Just, just get in the ball. Just get in the ball. Thank you. Alright. Excellent. Move on now. <laughs> Alright. Kind of name it uh, Surf because that's what we're using it for. All right, all right, and then uh, teach it Surf. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I'm. I don't really want this Goldeen right now, so I am just going to not train it like at all. Okay. Yes, we will Surf here. And, uh, because there's items down here that I want. Pick up this. So that's an ether. And then right over there on the right is also an item. I think that the, the pool, the pond above also has that too. Yep, rare candy. So that's good. Good to see. Yep, we're going to surf here. And, uh... Oh, crap. I forgot that I didn't have the bike out. 
Hold on, let me let me re reset the bike. Uh, where is it? There he is. Yeah, and then up here there's also an item. So we'll go ahead and pick those up. All right, we got the max revive. Excellent. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here today. Unfortunately, we lost rope, but you know, it, her sacrifice was not in vain. You know, she she was able to avenge Daedalus, uh, and then we you know took care of uh, took care of the slacking. So just the 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 freaking sloth lineup is uh, not that not the best for us. I can say the least on that. So anyway. Please do like and subscribe if you like this content and comment down below any suggestions you have for the series going forward and I will catch you guys next week.